You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Heroism is displayed in many different ways. There are some common attributes of a person who is heroic, including courage, honesty, and a desire to help others through their own experiences. This segment, CNA Hero, did just that. Thank you to the Post Star out of New York for covering this important story. Kimberly Williams, of Buzzkirk, New York, was a CNA at Washington Center for Rehabilitation and Nursing in Argyle, New York. She loved her coworkers and she loved her job. Kimberly was very happy. She had recently found love again and she had just gotten married this past spring. Her life was on track. Her 17-year-old son, who was in high school, was set to graduate in 2020. Her life was complete, or so she thought. In mid-March of this year, just a couple of weeks after getting married, Kim suffered what she thought was a cold, maybe the flu. It got worse, pounding headache, dizziness, nausea, her sister drove her to the local emergency room where Kimberly thought she might get some IVs for dehydration and be sent home and be back to work in no time. However, a CAT scan was done and it was determined that Kimberly had brain tumors pressing on her cerebellum. She was then transferred to another hospital where she had emergency surgery the next day. They told her that if she had waited just two more days, she probably would not have survived. More devastating news soon followed this awesome CNA. Doctors determined that her brain tumors had originated in her lungs. She was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer with metastasis to several other parts of her body. At 42 years of age, she said she was blindsided. Kimberly's co-workers and the residents at the Washington Center held fundraisers and GoFundMe fundraisers and they got the support of the community. Donations came in to help her with medical expenses. She was shocked at the support of the community and of her workplace and she was so very grateful. However, she didn't want any publicity to be about her. She didn't want any of the media to cover the fundraisers to get money for her medical expenses. She wanted to use all that attention to bring one message to people for everyone to quit smoking. When she got sick, she told the media to publicize the cause of her sickness and her eventual death as smoking rather than writing about her. A cigarette smoker of 27 years, her son had begged her to stop smoking and she finally did so seven months prior to her diagnosis. She stated that she didn't have any symptoms until it was too late. She said, I'm a healthy woman. I hike, I fish, I camp. I didn't have any signs. I didn't use an inhaler. I didn't have COPD. It was a shock, she said, to find out the diagnosis. Grateful for the support of friends, coworkers, residents, and the community, she wanted to see her son make it to graduation in 2020. Sadly, her battle with cancer ended May 21st of this year with her loving family by her side. The staff and the residents at the Washington Center were grief-stricken. They had hoped they would have more time to spend with this precious CNA. Her coworkers and even residents designed, purchased, and wore Team Kim t-shirts to show support for her after her diagnosis and to help raise money. She was such a big part of the residents' lives. 
So here is Kim's message, albeit posthumously. Currently, about 14% of the adults in the United States smoke. And smoking causes about 20% of all deaths in the country, according to the CDC. Do not be a statistic. No one is immune. Stop smoking today. You've got to quit. A message from Kimberly Williams. Kim, you were a fantastic CNA in life, serving others, and you continue to save lives even after your death with your warning about cigarette smoking and cancer. Thank you for being so committed to the well-being of others. You are a courageous person. Everyone, please join me in honoring today's CNA hero, Kimberly Williams.